I was having trouble finding how I should start. And as I was sitting in the bed, God told me to roll with my heart, so I'll just get straight to it. See, no more wasting time playing games in my mind, just simply getting closer to my divine. See, my pastor said that I need new shoes because I've been running from God so long that my soul's worn out. When in reality, I've been running from God so long that my soul's worn out and I've been lost for more than half my life and I decided that if I'm going to be lost and I'd rather be lost in Christ, you see. James 1 verse 8 says a double-minded man is unstable in all he does, so I'm going to praise God for all he's done. You see, this is my decision. A decision based off dreams and visions that God gave me because I don't need pupils to teach myself anything and I don't need my pupils to see where I'm going. Understand, I had a dream once. And in it, my vision was blurred as I struggled to walk up a flight of stairs and that was God's way of telling me to walk by faith. And no matter how hard the struggle gets, to keep going, one step at a time. And another one I had was of me and this girl that occurred in more than one, you see. There were locusts from the sky to the ground and as we ran around town, I covered my head to protect myself, but she turned around and told me. She said, don't worry. God's protecting you. And as I looked up, we were the only two in the city with a clear path. You see, this is my walk. And on this road, I've encountered some things, but this head of mine never bows unless I'm praying or worshiping to my king. Understand that I'm ready for war. And the only surrender of my heart belongs to the Lord, so I can't lose. And right now, I'm in the ninth round of this 12 round fight and I was going to go for the knockout but I think I'll stay in the fight a little bit longer and gain a couple more scars because in the end, that's where the growth lies. And in the midst of it all, the Lord told me to be patient. <laughs> he said, be my patient. And let me be the doctor that heals all your pain and wipe away your tears. Though it may seem like it, those drugs don't heal the pain like I do. And you won't find the message that I left in the bottle that your friend just bought for you. And we don't need to work on your fear because I never gave you that spirit. Now open up your mind and face what you've been faced with. Use your power, grow each day, never become complacent. But don't get too far ahead of yourself, Just Be patient. See, now I view my walk with Christ like I view my birth. They had no choice but to be delivered. But the difference is nowadays, people don't really want to go through the labor. I mean, when contractions start acting, that's when we got to take action. Not rely on the epidural to get us through or past it. So I'm spiritually optimistic. We all just have to push through to our deliverance.